One of the things we deem very important in a master plan, and one of our strong suits, I believe, is the dynamic of leaving no stone unturned. And we do that both from a marketing perspective, where we put time against making sure players are interviewed online, making sure players are interviewed within the media, making sure we send out a variety of different marketing materials to the teams, as well as being at the pro days, at the private workouts. But on the flip side of that, it's also preparing the player. And while most of the emphasis of most agents, and for most players, and even in the media, is based on how they run at the combine, how they jump, how they uh, hit on their position drills, on their three cone or 20 yard shuttle. However, one of the other things that are very important is the interview process. Players are interviewed after practices, they're walking off the field, outside the locker room, they're interviewed over dinner, they're interviewed um, in the hotel lobby. Just basically anywhere where a scout can get his hands on a player. It then carries over into obviously the combine where the interview process is much more comprehensive. The players are given a taped interview where every player that goes to the combine is interviewed on the identical questions. It's videotaped and sent out to all the teams. The process continues on over to the pro days where you recycle again the same events that happen at the all-star games and the combine. Uh, the multiple points of reference, teams getting various scouts, various personnel, individuals, various coaches having a different perspective on each player as they walk through very similar questions and it gives them a more comprehensive picture. From our perspective we put a lot of time against preparing the guys from an interview perspective and one way we do that is bringing in Ken Harrock. Uh, Ken spent 33 years in the NFL on the front office side, spent I think roughly eight years as a player for the Oakland Raiders before that. And he is one of those guys that cuts straight to the chase, pulls no punches, you know, everything he says is going to be as it is. His expectations of the players and how they handle themselves in an interview is very professional. And he walks them through what it means to be an, a, an NFL player and what that looks like from an NFL front office person's perspective. And then he continues to walk them through the day where he sits down with each one individually on videotape and videotapes them going through the combine interview. So it's a pretty comprehensive process. Not only do we make sure the guys have drilled down and are well prepared from the interview perspective, but then we also work with them on the media interview side. We make sure the guys are ready to give confident answers that will draw people in, that are articulate, and that do engage people so that at the end of the day, when teams are evaluating the mounds and mounds of information, there may be just a gut thing when guys are so closely packed together that it may be that just that one interview that they did on TV that is a tipping point between one player and another, which depending on the position you play, if you're a quarterback or a tight end or a center, that could be the difference in a couple rounds in the draft. <laughs> nope, not when the red light's on. You can't say half acid, can you? <laughs> hey, yes, man. Well, you know, that's how I work it. Brandon Carr, defensive back, Grand Valley State University. What comes to mind when you think about your family? <laughs> you grew up, I'm so sorry. Let's do that. <laughs>